Hey guys, I'm working from home today, probably going to cook on my lunch break, but I have to get some work done and then I'm going to make something special. So I got some pretty good ingredients, of course, organic kale, and I got this sage on sale, so I'm definitely going to incorporate that in an organic lemon. It's kind of sticky. Uh, avocado, which I don't think is organic, but you know budget love this stuff it's always this treat for me because um it's expensive but sometimes it goes on sale today it was not but i was like you know what you deserve it treat yourself three words for you treat yo self treat, treat yourself 2011 I forgot about this dentist appointment i had so i'm on the way now and we'll see what happens but i haven't ever had a cavity so shout out to my diet update they want me to get invisalign for my buck teeth but I'm not, I maybe will do that, but I'm not going to use anything with fluoride in it. So I should just be like, y'all can have this back. I'm in the waiting room looking at recipes. <laughs> kind of set up for filming. It's so hard to get the right angle. So I'm going to attempt to make pasta now. No cavities. So this is a celebration for me. Um, I haven't had cavities ever. Knock on my computer. Gonna take this aquafaba which is the liquid from chickpeas and pour half a cup in this mixture let's make some pasta so basically now i'm just adding that aquafaba two tablespoons of water i'm gonna mix that up and then i'm gonna get dirty now i'm just mixing that flour aquafaba and water i'm gonna let this mixture rest for 30 minutes in the fridge and then we're gonna pop it out Rest, pasta. You've had a hard life so far. Okay, so I just made my first rennet pasta, and I'm going to make a butternut squash sauce for the pasta because I didn't really want anything tomato based. I will include some peppers in there, but not a big deal. Um, and then I'm going to fry some sage and put it on top when the pasta is done if it comes out right. But you know what? It's going to come out right. I have to hit brown in my pantry there's a lot of junk in here <laughs> i found some coconut milk so i think i'm gonna put this with the butternut squash to make a really creamy sauce so let's see hey guys let's see how this i have this butternut squash need to cut it open bust it wide open oh sorry but um yeah we're gonna make this one cut it in half first it's easier to get all the seeds out so i'm gonna scoop out these seeds and come right back Take an ice cream scoop and scoop these out. I mean, it just keeps them all together if they don't fly over the effing place. But I hate the smell of like uncooked butternut squash. I hate, hate, hate it. Hate it! Just gonna peel these now that they're de-seeded. Normally I would peel before, but this is just a little bit easier for me because the squash is kind of slippery. So I'm gonna peel this and come back. Oh, I mean, I got them all peeled up. I'm just gonna chop them into chunks. There's a lot of butternut squash, so I guess I could repurpose the sauce if I want to, but I'm just cutting it up into chunks because it's going to be blended up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm trying to make them consistent in size for even cooking, even flavor. Boom. Butternut squash is done, so I'm going to cook it, bro. And is known for sticking but we're gonna give it a chance today to prove itself to prove it's not a worthless pan so so in the fridge now looking for some fresh garlic swore that we had some can't find it anywhere so but there are a lot of vegetables in here which i'm very proud of so it's vegan yogurt all vegetables oh with the f I don't know. The lesson today is sometimes you just got to work with what you got. We're going to take this onion, this butternut squash, some salt and pepper, lemon juice, olive oil, a little bit of nutritional yeast, some steak seasoning. Uh -huh. This sauce going to be good. No oil today because I use up all the olive oil. Literally. None. Sad. Sad. Put that in there. Nice. Good job, Shaquille. That coconut oil smells really good. I haven't cooked with it in so long heart today just adding all kinds of random delicious seasoning and it smells so good what you guys considering this is completely solid i'm not gonna use it it's problematic that's some almond milk so that's what's going in here today i let this boil put a little bit of water in it and let it boil for about 20 minutes and now it's pasta time so i'm gonna take it out and let's see what we got 
Hello, old friend. Fancy meeting you here. Right, get my hands ashy for this one. Gonna go ahead and roll out this pasta dough. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, actually, it like is the right consistency. I'm really proud of this, you guys. I wonder how many raviolis this is gonna make. My first ever ravioli, yay! So I'm gonna roll this up again, you guys, to see how many more we get. Got all my pasta rolled. If I had time, I would wet this cool, put it in the actual pasta, but <laughs> lazy. Let's check in on this sauce. Whoa, it smells so good. That almond milk is like taking on all that butternut squash flavor, so this is probably gonna be awesome. This is my favorite tree line cheese. It's so hard to not eat this directly out of the container, but we'll see how that goes. So I'm just gonna put a little dollop of cheese there and then take another one and cover it up. And mash those together. Boom, ravioli done. I'm gonna take the fork and do the little fork thing too. Yeah. Ha ha! We are going to make some salt. I'm gonna hand massage this, put a drop of lemon juice and some salt and pepper, and then throw it in this sauce. Party, 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 let's all get away. Y'all see this disrespectful water, man? I need a wooden spoon. For some reason, it keeps it from boiling over. Not sure the science behind this, but I'll look it up. sage so much it smells so good <laughs> oh my god I'm really excited to eat this you guys so overall this was a really easy and delicious recipe and I'm glad that you guys decided to watch my strange life and I hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and comment if you want more